All right, so here is Scar King with Whiplash. Now, this figure, I gotta say, he's all right. He's kind of good. He's got a lot of articulations. The only thing that I just noticed is that he's got articulation in the upper and lower body, this part right here. And as a matter of fact, for those of you that have the 2005 King Kong, I guess they must have taken this idea and applied it to Scar. Now I'm using with the letter C, not with the K, because the letter K in between the S and the A makes no sense. So let's look at him. He's got blue eyes and bald, as always. Uh, he also comes with a weapon, which is the whiplash. Takes off easily. And I thought it has like a bendable wire for you to move around with it, but nope, it is just regular rubber. And a lot of people stated back when the trailer was out, they stated that this belongs to a Godzilla spine. But in truth, it's not. It's, if you look closely at this part here, you notice that it belongs to a Warbat. And as a result, Scar King utilizes the Warbat's skeleton against him, which is the head all the way to its spine. I actually kind of wish it was a lot longer or thinner and maybe just like long enough so that... Because in the movie, the whip was kind of longer. Putting it back is... Let's see, putting it back is pretty easy. I mean, it's not that that kind of difficult. But if you try playing around with it, it does pop out. If you put it in the right spot, it doesn't come off. Articulation on the legs and arms, as always. Uh, in the box, I don't know for those of you that aren't aware, in the box, the back of the box of this figure, uh, it, it was originally supposed to have two open hands, one on this side and the other. But I guess they sort of swapped it out and maybe... For another retooled Scar King figure, and they might switch this one out with an open hand, and then this one as a closed hand, or maybe both both will be open handed. Size comparison with 2.0 Goji, and um, despite the fact he's nowhere near as tall as Godzilla, I mean, according to the officials he's literally 318 i actually kind of wish he was a bit bigger like maybe 330 but hey it is what it is and this is what we get i was a really a bit disappointing with scar king in the film because first off he, despite the fact how lengthy he is and very intimidating and he throw hands i was really bummed down that he gets thrown around like a peasant let's be real he gets thrown around like a peasant throughout the whole movie at the final flight of the movie um I also kind of wish they gave him electrical powers, kind of like the 1962 where King Kong gets electricity powers. But unfortunately, the reason why we're not going to get that in the Empire is because Toe has some restrictions and reasonings to nerf Scar this badly. But I can understand. I don't blame them. But we can understand the decisions that Toho is giving us. Turning Godzilla OP... I think that went a little bit overboard. But hey, it is what it is. We can't do nothing about it. But uh, yeah. And also, I was thinking about getting the gripping Kong figure. Because it has the same uh, swivel, swivelness in the upper and lower body part. So if I can get my hands on him, I might do a comparison between the two. But yeah. So hopefully Playmates could like retool this figure and give him like, I don't know, like maybe not just the whiplash, but also like a new head sculpt, like an open mouth, uh, maybe ferocious Scar King with a uh, battle axe or crystal, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully they might reuse this figure and try to change um, the fist to an open hand and then we can have him hold not only the whiplash, but also the battle axe that he just took from Kong. But yeah. Hopefully, they might do that. And that is it. This is basically the final review of the 6-inch figures. And the next ones that are going to come out are the 7-inch figures. But that only is when the time is right. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notification if you want to see more of this stuff. So, catch you all later. Fight back! Fight back!